Hi everybody, I want to take a quick run through on how to um, access Beanstack and what to do there. Beanstack is our new tracker um, thing, um, not just for summer reading now though, but for all of our challenges. So in one way to access it is down here through at the bottom of our page. You can just click on Beanstack and that will bring you to this page. As you can see right now, we're focusing on our winter reading challenge, our winter together challenge, which is um, slightly different, more, more focused towards kids, but it can be for whoever. And then also the thousand books before kindergarten challenge. And um, down here, just lets you know, you can either register as an individual or family, which is what the vast majority of you will be doing. Um, this is more for classrooms and for preschools. Um, and of course, if you're already registered, you can click the sign in button. And it just lets you know, you can register yourself and anybody else that you wanna keep track of. And then you just start keeping track of what it is that you're supposed to be keeping track of. And that will vary from challenge to challenge. So let's just go ahead and register. So first of all, you do want to register yourself. Um, so just go ahead and click that we want everybody to be able to read um, and let's see here uh, we're gonna have to okay and as you can see um, email is not required um, they do have a really pretty great um, email um, that they send though. So you might want to go ahead and send that, uh, put that in there. Phone number is not required. We do want to put in our zip code and then choose a password. Choose your primary library, which is gonna be either McConnellsburg branch or the Houston town branch. And then how old are you? Um, and as you can see, the last choice is 19 plus. So whatever. And what grade are you in? Go ahead and choose that. School is not required, but um, if you do, you can see that there's a couple of options. And um, and if you have put in your email, go ahead and check the yes, send me I rec send me recommendations via email, you can always undo it later. Now, right away when you log in, um, it's letting me know that because I have registered myself as an adult, I am able to register for either the Winter Reading Challenge, which is for independent readers, or the Winter Together Challenge, which is for the littles and beginning readers. So I'm gonna go ahead and register for this one. Um, and I've gotten my first badge. Okay, next. Would I like to add another adult? And again, this is up to you. Um, I'm not going to for this demonstration, but obviously you can do that. Would you like to add a child? Again, that depends on what you're doing there. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, just so I can show you. And um, I'm going to show you a smaller child because there are um, you can see okay so again here's the you can um, get recommendations for kids as well but because um, we have a kid who's so little um, they only they don't they can't do the winter reading challenge, but they can do the winter together challenge, and they can also do the thousand books before kindergarten challenge. I'm going to go ahead and sign them up for both, and as you can see, I get a badge for completing the registration. So you can do this for as many um, people as you want to. I'm going to go ahead and stop there, and here we are. So I'm, this is my adult name here. And you can see that this is the challenge that I am registered for. 
I can, if I can quickly just log reading and activities up here and it will let me know um, I, the challenges that I'm registered for, I can either log books or I can log activities. And of course, I can also switch readers. I'm not going to do that quite yet, though, because I want to show you, too. You can also click on the challenge itself. And down here, it will show you um, what all is um, in it. So this particular challenge has a book component and an activities component. So the book component, as you can see, I can get badges at two, after I've read two books, after I've read five books, and after I've read 10 books. There's also activity badges. So here are all the different activity badges that I can complete um, to, uh, to in this challenge. So, and if I do just to click on one, try a new recipe from a cookbook, um, you know, uh, let's see, what did I make? I made some doll. It was great. And hit save. And that checks that and I have gotten that badge. So that that kind of lets you know that. And um, like I said, and you can add reviews if you want. There are lots of different things over here. We've also got, my recommendations page is not currently working because I didn't say that I wanted recommendations any of those places. Um, but you can change those uh, things. You can, there's lots of different ways that you can change setting. And for instance, you can also um, share the, the littles, the um, different children can be added so that you can um, share them. So if you want to share a child with a grandparent or another family member or whatever, you can do that, which I'm not gonna show that in this, but just so you know that that is a possibility. And here's little Lisa's um, is in two different things, right? And um, if we were to log reading and we were to log some books, you can see here's how we can log these books. And so let's say we're going to read today. I will fly by Mo Willems. There it is. And, um, you know, the kid really likes that book. We read that 10 times, which is totally possible, as we all know. And I'm going to hit log down here. And I have gotten a couple of badges for that. Okay. Those ones are all from the winter reading challenge, but I've also gotten one from the thousand books before kindergarten challenge. So it will take your reading and apply it to whichever um, uh, challenges it's appropriate to add them to. But same thing, this one also has activities um, instead of just reading. So you can, same sort of thing, you can come down here and you can look at the activity badges and see what activities do we need to do to, um, to earn, to finish this challenge. Okay, so that hopefully gives you some ideas on um, how that all works. And also so that you're aware, Beanstack is also available on an app. So you can get that depending on whether you're using an Apple product or whether you're using an Android product, you can get the Beanstack Tracker app. And it will um, do similar things for you so that you can, um, you can register on there. You can um, go ahead and get, uh, put your reviews in there, Any anything that you can do on the other one, you can do on that. So um, check that out too. And I hope this has been a help. Obviously, if you have any questions, just reach out and we can help you with that. All right. Thanks. Bye.